Like, if it ain't going like Jack the Ripper, shut her off. You know, it's 15 cars, uh, and we had on it. Here's Iggy boy. So we just short of Atlanta, headed to Gainesville. A little nap time in the uh, rest area. All right, so we're parked at Gainesville, and... There's always other stuff to work on besides just the race car, it seems like. Today, my little dirt scooter, my little KLX 110, it don't want to do nothing but idle really fast and won't take fuel, so I uh, got to take the carburetor off, clean her out, see what's up. Oh, put the old cheaters on. Not the first time I've had to do this, unfortunately. The old dirt scooter takes a beat. Cause it's always bouncing up down the road. Who's calling me? Nobody's calling me. 1-800-JUNK. The old CRC to work. Dang love bugs. Bugs everywhere. Dead gummit. as a whistle. Definitely clean. A little CRC. I didn't realize I didn't buy, I didn't buy. I didn't get, I didn't realize I didn't get uh, brake clean. Got electronic cleaner, but either way, load out all the uh, jets and orifices and just pretty much soaked her down got her bolted back on see if it'll start and run Nicky boy daddy gonna make noise daddy gonna make noise Iggy does not like scooters and motorcycles. Let's bolt her back together. Dang. Uh, golly, I can't remember exactly what year Dalton graduated, but we were on, to a, on our way to a motocross race somewhere. And I don't know if it's a tradition in where you live, but kind of where we live. When kids are getting ready to graduate high school, people send a little money here and there for uh, graduation. Dalton had a little money. We stopped and slept, probably at a Walmart parking lot somewhere. And uh, so Dalton uh, talked us into going across the street and bought this little KLX 110 it has had more plastics put on it than, uh, you know, rubber gloves going on right now or whatever you want to think of because this thing has done more wheelies, tore more rear fenders off than the law allow. Lots of wheelies with this thing. Something me and Mike have done for years. What day is this? Thursday? Today's Thursday. Nor normally they wouldn't let us out here on a Thursday. Yeah. It'd be sportsmen guys exactly. going down the racetrack one after another. Exactly. So essentially what we do 
is walk and see what kind of truck service we got and if there's something I need to miss, Michael point it out to me and it's like drive around this. Or be over here or back over there. This is the second year on this track surface, is that right? Um last year was new, I think. Last year, the year before. But the track has been scraped really clean. It doesn't have a lot of rubber buildup on it. And um, even though we expect it to be very hot, close to 90 degrees outside for air temperature, that usually gives us track temperatures above 120. And um, I guess we're supposed to be told to get off the racetrack. No, we're allowed to be out here. <laughs> uh, NHRA has told us we can be out here. And um, so we'll compare this to the last racetrack we were on, Indianapolis, which we raced on four times in a row. Um, this track is concrete all the way to the finish line for us, where Indy is concrete to half track, the eighth mile, and then from the eighth mile to a thousand foot is uh, asphalt. But this racetrack is concrete the whole way. So we're looking, looking forward to um, running on a little bit better racetrack this weekend than we've been at in Indy. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have a little hotter weather though. We, we will have hotter weather. So we probably, oh, I'll expect to see some 70s. Oh yeah, yeah. There'll I'll be agree. some 70s. It probably won't be in the 60s because we don't get to run at night. Yeah. Um, but the track looks nice. I'm really happy. It's uh, of course, COVID has kept people from running on it. So um, the rubber's in great shape, and I'm looking forward to getting getting on it. Me too. Full on, full on real race setup. Uh, we have hospitality guests this weekend. Typically we have them all the time, but thank you COVID, we have not. You can see that this adds a lot to set up. Bunch of awnings, tables, chairs, but it looks really good. Typically during the year we'll have around 5,000 people from Parts Plus come through the hospitality area. It's cool. I love having people right next door. Hey y'all. We are setting on ready to go. I'm hanging out back here in the tire barn. Kind of looks like it's a tire barn. Getting ready for Q1 of the Gator Nationals uh, 2.0. We were here in March and that was uh, when the whole COVID thing started. We were right here set up ready to go and got sent home we are right here set up and ready to go again i don't think we're getting sent home this time really foggy this morning it's muggy down here it's different being here uh, i don't even know if this is september yeah september versus being here in march it's gonna be a great day y'all q1 coming up and it is hot as a fresh, no, I can't say that on no, YouTube. No, you can't. It's hot as, uh, it's hot, it's hot as hell. Yeah, yeah it yep, is. Definitely hot as hell. Well, there's a lot of humidity to go yeah. with that heat. Yeah. 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 It's not gainful in March, let's just say that. Out of the way 384 I ain't got a time slip yet I think like 316 something like that Mike would have broke out he told me he was shooting for 85 so I should have scrubbed the brakes a little bit coming up on the finish line down there with 84 uh, but all good I think we're nice and clean what do you think John hey. all yeah. good how about you Justin all good that's good. Good. good 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 start Back up 
Okay, so we're rolling up for Q2. Q2. And Dougie here hops in and said he had to get his protection. What does that mean? No, no. I, I took uh, that information. Information. I thought you said protection. No, my information. I'm like, we're way too old for that. <laughs> Come loose. I'm in the car with the J&J &J special. We got Jess on the crew. And you know what else we got? We got the sharpshooter. Look, we got. Hey. Catching a ride. We left Clay at the top end. We, we kind of caught a ride with his team, but he's the top end still. So. That's right. See, when you go number one, you know what happens? You get left behind. Look at them back there. See them all? <laughs> they did a good job, but you know what? We're happy. We're all on the show. And tomorrow's going to be a heck of a race day here at Gainesville, but I'm gonna show you a little inside scoop. I'm gonna show you. Justin's looking back right now, looking back, making sure the vehicle's being towed properly. Don't mess up the race car. Don't mess, just what's your number one job? Talk to him. Oh, I do the short blocks in the bottom end. So he does the, you know what the short block and bottom end? The short block ain't bad, but the bottom end, that's the dirtiest job in the business. Kind, that's kind of like my family business. We're number one in the number two business. We pumped out them. <laughs> <laughs> we pumped out them septic tanks. I got you. I got you. See, you see what? Let me say. You see what Jay Egg does, right? He buys them houses and he flips them. He makes them right. I'm familiar right. with the number twos. More familiar than I am with the number ones. But I'm out here trying to be like AB and like Clay. You know, get more familiar with those number ones. Let's take some time. That's all. Hey, time. hey, it's all good. You know what it is? We don't care about the number ones. Tell them about that yellow hat. People yeah, man, we care about those wind lights. That's, That's right. what we care about, That's those right. wind lights. Tomorrow, NHRA, it's going down. 300 miles per hour right here in Gainesville tomorrow. Gator Nationals in September, man. That's how we're doing it. That's it. Let me tell you a story about Clay Milliken, okay? Clay, he is a cool, calm, collective guy, and everybody loves Clay. But I tell you what, I remember back in the day, I was there in Reading, Pennsylvania, and that little, that little alley cat turned into a bobcat when it went against that bear with Doug Herbert. But you know what the funny part is? <laughs> They're best of friends now. But the funniest part of it is that's how it gets on the start line. We could be family. We could be best of friends, but it's feast or famine. We want to gut each other. We want to scalp them, clean them, cook them, and drop them in the grease. That's what you want to do when you raise somebody. Ain't that right, Jay? Tell them about You nice? That's what it's all about, man. I mean... You're out here friends, man. We all love each other, but once you're behind the wheel, everything else goes away. It's peace and serenity, but you want to win. That's what we're out here for. We got to do it for each other. We got to do it for our team and our marketing partners, man. It's, it's a uh, dog eat dog world once you're behind the wheel. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know. I don't want nobody to steal my lunch money. Brother man, I got to eat. I'm hungry. So you know what? This concludes our ride. We're back to the pit. We see all the guys here and gals. And you know what? It's been nice. This is riding with Clay Milliken. And you know what? I got J&J &J signing out. That's it. Signing out. Signing out. Take it easy, everybody. Love, peace, and hair grease. Number one, it ain't no telling what y'all saw. I know Antron had my phone video and that'll be awesome. I hadn't seen it yet and watched it. Uh, but, went out there, went number one. Whitney, it ain't no telling what's on the old burner phone because Antron rode back in the, the OK Auto Direct vehicle here and oh, had yeah. my phone video. And, and Justin Ashley. And Justin Ashley. So I don't know what y'all are going to see. <laughs> <laughs> and nearly 80% of it's
So the guys crushed it. Uh, number one qualifier, 382, 313. Heard a piston, but uh, hey, number one qualifier. It's hot out, excited out, and being number one actually gives us a buy run for tomorrow. So first round buy guaranteed win. So Mike's got some new assistants up here at the moment. Mike, Mike kick them out. They're, uh, they're panting their information over. <laughs> Millie's sniffing information. Iggy's just like, I'm hot. It is. It's miserable. That's a light. It's still dark outside. We got this thing uh, out, getting ready to go. Everybody's uh, getting her bolted together. So first round, we have a buy run. Not sure exactly how we'll do that, uh, whether we'll go for lane choice. We did hurt a motor kind of last night. Uh, burnt a piston up, and when we burnt the piston up, it ended up breaking a rod and we will see what Mike wants to do today but at any rate people are moving slowly this morning this group is not morning people we'll get going and kick it here shortly get ready for four wind lights today try to get this Gator Nationals win single I'm assuming it must have put a hole out uh, Mike hit the button on me shut me off but that's the advantage of having a single we didn't have to run it down through there whatever he saw wrong and I'm assuming it's a hole out at any rate on to round two it has not worked enough times but I thought the risk was worth the reward yep. trying to take the pressure off the engine right. the blow rubber drive down yep. you know get the fuel volume up and it didn't work so good. Yep. Got to keep the floor up a little bit. Round two coming up. Leah Pritchett. See what we can do. Make this thing run on eight solars. A while ago it did put a hole out. It actually put two holes out. Probably was a little under boosted. But I'm sitting here talking like crew chief and I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Just repeating what I heard and uh, sound like it needed a little more boost to keep it on all eight. We're going to try to keep it on all late and turn on the wind light. Dead gummit. Laid a number down. Uh, hadn't seen time slip. Because we don't get a time slip. All I know is we run identical, which means we got beat on the whole shot again. The driver got to tighten up on that starting lineup. Their car run great, 378. What'd it go for speed, Justin? So down a little on speed, but dead gum it. Ah, my fault. Millie, you got a little problem? Huh? <laughs> got a problem? Millie, got a problem? Are you stuck? What's going on with you? Hey, there you are. Tearing your bed up. 